In recent times, the need for dependable, effective, and sustainable energy storage solutions has been rising. This is mainly because of the increase in the use of renewable energy sources such as wind and solar power as well as the need to decrease greenhouse gas emissions. As a result, the battery industry has experienced significant growth and this trend is expected to continue in the years to come. Considering this, five new batteries have surfaced that are expected to have a significant impact in the industry. These batteries offer several advantages ranging from increased energy density to longer lifespan and better safety features. Additionally, they are designed to cater to the diverse requirements of various industries, including transportation, consumer electronics, and more. What are these five types of batteries and how do they benefit the electric vehicle and storage industries? Welcome to Tesla Car World, where we bring you the latest updates on all things Tesla. Thank you for tuning in, and if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell to stay up to date with all of our future video updates. At number one, new generation lithium ion battery. A conventional lithium ion battery uses lithium ion as a key component of its electrochemistry. Lithium atoms in the anode are ionized and are separated from their electrons. The next generation of lithium ion batteries will work on technological innovations in the cathode, enabling higher energy densities and lower costs. There are three types of lithium ion batteries which are used in EVs. Lithium ferrophosphate or lithium iron phosphate, lithium nickel manganese cobalt oxide, and lithium nickel cobalt aluminum oxide. Despite the advantages of eco-friendliness and lower working potential, conventional graphite anode and lithium batteries is facing challenges, such as the limited capacity to fulfill the requirements of emerging trends of electric cars and hybrid vehicles. The next generation of lithium ion batteries with higher density have novel anode materials. These batteries have the pot potential to exhibit higher energy capacity and better cycling durability than conventional graphite. Currently, various pre-lithiation methods for compensating the anode's initial irreversible capacity have been found. However, large-scale commercial applications have not been developed yet. Firms like Tesla Incorporated, Taiwan Semiconductor Manufacturing Company Limited, and General Motor Company are aiding the development of new battery tech like this. At number two, solid state battery. Unlike conventional lithium batteries, which use liquid and polymer gel electrolytes, solid state batteries use solid electrodes and a solid electrolyte made up of ceramics such as oxides, glass, and sulfides, and so on. Those batteries have a higher energy density than lithium ion batteries and could be recharged up to seven times with a lifespan of 10 years. Solid state batteries can decrease the carbon footprint of an electric vehicle by 24%. Research has shown that the use of additional materials in these batteries can further reduce the carbon footprint of an EV by 39%. They're also being used in pacemakers, RFID tags, and wearable devices. Toyota is considered the leader in solid-state battery patents. Currently, EVs with solid-state batteries are not commercially available but are expected to be used in EVs from 2025. Moreover, solid-states are being tested in EVs by BMW and Ford. Major companies in the solid-state market are Robert Bosch, Simbit, Breitvolt, Samsung SDI, QuantumScape, Solid Energy Systems, and Toyota Motor Corporation. At number three, lithium sulfur batteries. In lithium sulfur batteries, the positive electrode is sulfur and the negative electrode is made up of metallic lithium. The cell voltage is comparatively lower than lithium ion cells and is about two volts. These batteries have an energy density several times higher than lithium ion batteries, however. Lithium sulfur has specific energies on the border of 550 watt hours per kilogram. Contrary to that, conventional lithium ion batteries have a range of 150 to 260 watt hours per kilogram. Sulfur used as a cathode in lithium sulfur batteries is less expensive than the cobalt used in conventional lithium ion batteries. These batteries are in higher demand in, future, in the future because of their greater energy storage and cost efficiency. Lithium sulfur batteries have a major drawback, however, as they are reusable for around 1,000 charge cycles, whereas lithium ion batteries can be recharged 2,000 to 3,000 times. Lithium sulfur batteries with more than 1,500 charge and discharge cycles were presented in 2017, but their cycle life test at a commercial scale with lean electrolytes is yet to be demonstrated. At Number four, salt water batteries. A salt water battery has a concentrated saline solution as its electrodes. The water molecules pull the sodium and chloride ions apart, making them free floating. 
Sodium is extracted from the solution while charging the battery, and the extracted salt water is discharged with oxygen dissolved in it. This functions as an oxidant to produce electricity. Unlike conventional lithium-ion batteries, these batteries don't use flammable electrolytes, which makes them much safer and easier to manufacture, use, and recycle. Researchers have discovered that the saline solution displays an electrochemical stability of up to 2.6 volts. Salt water batteries can be recharged for 5,000 cycles during their lifespan. However, these batteries can be used beyond the indicated cycles as they are inflammable and non-explosive. Having a high energy density, they can power electronic devices for a longer duration. However, in order to achieve that density level, batteries are required to be built bigger and require more materials. This, in turn, increases the production cost as well as the size of salt water batteries. Therefore, these batteries are not being used commercially. And finally, cobalt-free lithium-ion batteries. We have cobalt-free lithium-ion. Cobalt, which is a key element in producing, producing conventional lithium-ion batteries, is considered an expensive metal. Additionally, 50 to 60% of the worldwide cobalt resources are located in the politically unstable Congo, or DRC and are extracted by questionable working conditions. Cobalt-free batteries provide a solution to this problem by using alternative materials as the cathode in lithium-ion batteries. Tesla, a major EV manufacturer, stated that almost all cars produced in the first quarter were using cobalt-free iron phosphate batteries. Asphalt, another EV battery manufacturer, is making cobalt-free batteries using nickel and manganese. The cathode material used by the company contains 75% nickel and 25% manganese. And that was the five new battery technologies that we'd like to present to you. We believe that these innovative technologies will pave the way for a sustainable, safe, and optimal EV future. These technologies are essential and practical for our future livelihoods, and we hope that we will not be limited to the confines of research labs and will soon be widely applied. So what are your thoughts on these five new batteries? Which ones are your top choices? We'd love to hear your opinions, so please feel free to share them with us in the comments down below. Thank you for tuning in to Tesla Car World. We appreciate your unwavering support and would like to express our heartfelt gratitude. If you found today's video engaging, we kindly request that you hit the thumbs up button, share with your friends, subscribe to our channel, and activate the notification bell to stay up to date with the latest happenings in the EV realm. We look forward to welcoming you back for our next episode. Until then, stay safe and take care.